What is going on everyone? Big Country here and we're back with another episode of Monster Seed on the PS1. Now last time we left off we had walked into the uh, secret lair of the Burning Hell Association trying to get our hands on the third statue of Condole that we require. So Daniel comes in with some exposition. I've come here to get the statue of Condole. I want you to hand it over to me without any fuss. Okay we're back to this again. What do you mean? Are you after the heritage of the different world civilization? Depending on your reply, I may not let you go with your life. Oh, you're a weird looking dude, man. I am the one who will put a halt to Murdoch's ambition. Put a halt to Murdoch's ambition? You think you can beat Murdoch? I mean, yeah, that's basically my point. That's right. In that case, I'll put you to the test. I'll give you the statue of Condal if you can beat Meredith of the Burning Hell Gang. Okay, so are you a chick or a dude? I cannot tell. You do have skulls on your face. But we have to fight Meredith of the Burning Hell Association, who is clad in some sort of skull mask, which is cool, I'm not going to lie. But this is, in fact, a boss battle, so bring your best stuff if you got it with you. So they're going to get the first hatch of this fight. And it will be uh, one of those guys. I'm not worried about it. Let us get right up on them here. We're going all out. We're going with the hard hitters today. So we're going to throw Cook out here. He is looking forward to his second fight of this LP, and I'm excited to give it to him. Now we got to go in here, and we're going to grab Weber. And we're going to throw Weber here in the middle. Him and Cook are besties. They're going to go together pretty much every time I call either one of them out. And... We're going to give Big Papa Charlay a chance to come in here and do some stun action. Uh, he is so beefy, so tanky, and he is so good at stunning things that I think he is a borderline irreplaceable part of my boss teams for right now. Ooh, look at that thing. That thing is cool. All right, so Terran Chula. What a big hit. Hopefully he doesn't get another hit on uh, Papa Charlay or he isn't going to hatch. Which would be a problem. Oh, hello, he's got one too. And I think it's in the same spot as the one that I put, so it's going to be a battle to the death. Interesting. So we're just going to sit here and stay on standby, I suppose, and let guys come out. So our uh, Slice and Dicer here is going to come out, and he is ready to tango. I'm okay with this. I think mine's better. So Lero here is going to, in fact, go after ours first. Let's see how much damage he does to us. No, nothing. Your granny could do better than that. Yeah, he did nothing. I'm not surprised, though. But he's going to go in for a second one. Diabolos. And it did a little bit. We'll see just how much ours can do when he gets an opportunity to attack. So Meredith's doing nothing. But Big Papa Beefcake Charlay is going to hatch in time. And he is ready to cause a little bit of destruction. And I'm quite excited for it. So Weber's going to get his turn. How much damage does Weber do to his? I think it's going to be a lot more. It's a, a pretty significant difference in damage. But ours only gets to attack once and his got to attack twice. So that's interesting. So Cook is going to come out now and he's ready to do his thing. So let us get some space between the wall of beefcakes up here. Just for protection's sake. And let's see what happens. Oh, so Harpy is coming at us. This guy's going to use magic. What is he doing? Ein Factor. I, I don't know what that is or what that means, but it's probably not good for me. Okay. What does that do? Uh-oh. Did it do anything to him other than just hurt him? I don't think so. I think it's just the animation. It looked like maybe it made them, like, upset or, you know, something, but... All right, so uh, his guy has decided that Big Papa Beefcake Charlie is a better target. That's not going to work out so well for you. You better hope that Charlie doesn't come at you, or uh, you're going to you're gonna regret that decision. And here he comes. Big Papa Beefcake Charlie. And, and there it is. He's gone to sleep. Now Cook is going to get the backwards hit here with the Cyclone. That should be a big hit. And it is. It's the one-hit wonder. 
That guy had like no no HP at all, which is interesting. So now I suppose it is in fact time for me to start moving forward a little bit. So we're going to go to about here for right now. I want to move away from his uh, little uh, spidery dude. And he's he's still coming after me. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to make a decision here. He's calling another seed out. But it does nothing because he still has monsters on the field. Charlie has decided to avert Tomahawk, but he misses. That's unfortunate. So it's our turn. Um, directions. You. I'm not sure. I mean, we'll just leave you on attack, I suppose. I was wondering if there was any way I could direct you to attack the guy that is, you know coming after me, but uh, it doesn't look like that's an option at the moment, so we're going to come over here. Let's check Daniel's status real quick. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Yep, we're going to go right here and go on standby in this spot right about here. Hopefully one of our guys averts attention back around to the guy who is, in fact, chasing me across the screen, and Cook will, and he's going to go at him with the white arrow, which is a swift kick to the head. Wasn't a bad hit either. Over half his health. Weber has averted course as well. They're smart. The Diabolos wasn't enough to kill him, though, which is unfortunate. It would appear that Cook is, in fact, stronger than Weber, which kind of surprises me. So he casts another seed again, and then comes at Big Papa Charlie with Shartar Nail, which did a little bit of damage, but it's not a big deal. And it's going to hatch. So what is he bringing out now is the question whatever in the world that thing is all right okay and it's it's still coming at me so let's see we're gonna have to probably defend ourselves here a little bit but he's only got seven health so i like my chances so we're gonna go at him with the tornado uppercut hopefully we finish him off with this one and then all of our guys can start funneling towards the other monster who is inevitably gonna want to eat my giblets and daniel he proves that he is not, in fact, the uh, most incompetent of uh, video game protagonists. And Big Papa Charlie wax him. It did something. Regelto is, in fact, coming our way. So we're in a weird spot right now. Oh, hey, their guy woke up. He woke up. Okay, so apparently they can, in fact, eventually wake up, and he's going to go for two hits on Big Beefcake Papa Charlie, but don't care. Weber's moving in and has decided that he would uh, like to get a little bit of payback for the uh, two smacks to the face he took earlier. Cook, I don't know what you're doing, Cook. Meredith has decided that he's going to smash him to... St oh, you can't say that. That's what I say, sir. And he's going to go back at him with the Charter Nail. And uh, Charlie's taken some... He's taken some beating here. I need to get around and heal him. Um, Unfortunately, it's not going to be this turn because I, everyone decided to block me on the other side. So hopefully Charlie can survive one more turn. No! Charlie has decided it is time to cast his ultimate. And it is, in fact, a really really good time to do so so everyone please say goodbye to big papa beefcake charlay i hope i have another seed to hatch another one of him he was amazing but he's gonna go boom boom here with his ultimate on meredith and it did half his health that's a pretty strong ultimate like seriously that's a really strong ultimate considering how tanky these rulers are but charlie is out there's nothing i can do at this point now he's going in with the gill scissors i'm not super worried about cook but i do feel like i need to bring another monster out weber has decided he wants to kind of move in for the kill now and that's probably a smart move all right so meredith gets hit in the uh, face with a really sharp looking blade and regelto here he's still chasing me i mean there's not much i can do about it so Meredith is going to avert course. He's going to take my catchphrase, which is uncool. I don't know what in the world he just did to my guy, but he looks real confused. That's not good. This is not a good. 
Okay, so we're gonna come up here. We're gonna come like right up next to him. We're gonna call out. I I don't even know who to call at this point. Let's call Moppus, and then I might just Fenny wing him. To be honest, I don't know what is it. What what's uh, plaguing him? And I have to waste items, and I have to waste turns that I don't have right now. So we're just going to Fenny Wing him. It's going to heal him, and it's going to cure him of whatever is plaguing him. It's probably an overkill move, but uh, in boss fights, after considering I just had a game over, I don't... I, I, I'm not interested in... Uh, having another one so cook is going to finally defend us which is nice he's going to white arrow him and uh oh, i was really hoping it was going to be it he's left with one hp are you kidding well if he comes up by us again we'll uh we'll take him out and then this thing over here is really starting to get on my nerves he hasn't died yet and he needs to die well let's see what happens here so weber is uh fully healed up now and he's going to go in with the diabolos and do some damage. Keep whittling down Meredith. The quicker we can get Meredith down, the quicker this match ends. And hopefully Meredith doesn't do that to him again, but he just might. Okay, yep, there it is. I don't know what that is, but it happened again. Huh. This is not good. It's not good. So what's going to happen here? It's my turn. Let's see, what do we have for items? Can we just end this? Is there any way to just make this end? We've got mashes and we've got bone bay tears. We'll just slap the bone bay tears on him and uh, hopefully it does 18 damage. If not, we'll do a tornado uppercut and this could be a really bad move. Nope, I got him to 11. Interesting. All right, well. We'll uh, smash him to smithereens. And uh, see how close we get him. We got him to five. Literally, just about any attack at this point will kill him. So we're going to go to standby and see what happens. Regelto is moving. He's he's chasing me as best he can. But uh, we got Mopus out here on the off chance that things go really south and we needed an extra body. And that's cool. Cook, I don't know why you are running past somebody to go kill the dude with one HP who hasn't done a single point of damage this whole fight. I don't know why. I, I'm not sure what your thinking is, but you're going to get, uh, you know, stabbed here in the back by Lero because you keep leaving yourself open. I don't know why. You're, you're not being smart. Mopus, you can't attack yet. Weber, can you attack him? I don't know what this is. Is this blindness? I think it's blindness. He's going to get another one. Come on, hit him. He got him. Is that it? Nope. Only did three damage. Okay. Somehow I did more damage than he did. Meredith has uh, averted course and has decided that he needs to come after us now. I don't know if he can do that to us or what that means for us if he hits us with it. But he surely did. We don't get to we don't get to decide. Uh, our decision has been made for us. Interesting. Huh. All right, Cook. Can you finish this guy off, please? This is uh this has gone south quickly. Can you get another attack in Cook, please? Please, just one more. Nope. Moppus, finish him, Moppus. High pressure. Okay, so, you know, I feel I feel vindicated that bringing Moppus out was the right move because Moppus, when things were looking really dire, came in and got the killing blow when we needed it. Wow. All right. So that, that was crazy. We lost Big Papa Beefcake Charlay to his ultimate at the end of his life. We wasted a Fenny Wing that I probably didn't need to waste. And then I got in, uh, afflicted with something. I'm not even 100% sure what it was, but it probably wasn't good. But we got through it. So uh, let's see. What do you have to say here, Meredith? You're quite a boy. I never thought anyone other than Murdoch would be able to beat me. Oh, yeah. I kicked the crap out of you. Probably. Keep to your promise and hand over the statue of Condol. It's a promise. 
I'll give you the statue of Condol. All right, well, hand it over then, uh, Boyo. This is the end of the Burning Hell Gang. Now there's nothing to protect. No humans to rob. Can't call this a gang. <laughs> okay. What a miserable tale. Interesting. All right. Hey, boy. I'll never see you again, but look after yourself. Don't get beaten by Murdoch. I mean, I probably will, but hey, what are you going to do? I hate him more than anyone else in the world. Just remember that. I mean, I don't care who you hate or don't hate, if we're being honest. Uh, give Wolf my best regards. Well, I suppose I could do that. Never. Wow, Daniel, you're a dick. All right, so we got another seed. We got a Gaku recurve. We got some money. We need to grab the statue. And we kill another person, essentially. I didn't want to kill him. But again, I don't have a choice. That's just how this game operates, it would seem. So we're up here now. Where is the statue? We need the statue. Is it downstairs? Is the statue down here? Oh, we got some chests. But I feel like they're going to be wasted because we're going to run out of space for seeds. Nope. Money and biter drop. That's fine. Ooh, we got a nervy tears. All right, so we got another tears item back. That's always cool. Um, I hate wasting them. Sometimes, you know, you, that's what they're there for. You got to use them when things are getting tough. Blown his tears. All right, so he's, oh, he's filling us back up right now. We're getting really filled up. I'm quite happy about this. Gaku Resua money. I don't, I don't, I don't need that, man. I need to find the, uh, the statue of Condol now. Where is the statue at? Where are you hiding it? It wasn't down here, which is where I expected it to be. Is it up here somewhere? Is it here on the table? Some wine left over. Probably the one Meredith was drinking, question mark? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't see a, a Condolian statue anywhere. Well, did he just give us the statue? Do we have three of them now? No, we have two of them. So where where is the third statue, if I might be so bold to ask? Wine? Still underage. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Okay, so where is this statue at, Coach? I don't see a statue anywhere. That's just wine on the table. Have I looked at it and I'm just missing it? I mean... I would have expected it to be down here on the table. But it's not. Oh, it's this. I'm... I'm dumb. <laughs> it's the Statue of Condal. Handle it gently so as not to drop it. Alright, so we got... Uh, just a little more. We have our third Condal statue. That's fantastic. Apologies for me being dumb. Don't don't make the same mistakes I'm making. Just uh, see where they are on my screen and follow along. All right, let's let's head back out here now. Very interesting. So we got a. Is that another cave or is that the cave we came out of? No, that looks like another cave. What's in this cave? It has one way to go. Will this lead us to the last place we need to be? Hard to tell. But it looks like it's uh, taking us downwards even more. It's really hard to tell with the way this map looks. I mean, I love this game, but they could have done such a better job with the the backgrounds. They look They look the same. They always look the same. No, this is where we came from. This is where we came from. Let's go down. And can I go left at the bottom? 
like we go down here we're going to go back through the go back through the cave and then go left did i go left already i don't know i don't know i'm so confused We fell off. I'm assuming that was not what was intended to happen, and I've probably made a grave mistake by doing that. No, it takes us right back here to this broken... Hmm. Okay. So we're missing one somewhere, and we gotta find it. There's nothing else over there. However, that's gonna be it for this video of uh <laughs> monster seed on the ps1 we got three condo statues and if you like that we got three condo statues don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe and hit the bell, bell notification on the channel to keep up to date with when i find the next one my name is big country games have a wonderful night and as always i'll see you next time